So I feel like it's a little weird to film in a beanie hat, but I'm just gonna do it anyway because I wanna look kinda different to the video that I filmed not 10 minutes ago. Hey Farts, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new around here, hi, my name is Missa and you should go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Why not? Um, joyfulness and moaniness abound. So as you can see by the title, we are doing an anti-haul today. I've done one before and I'm gonna do another one. I'm also really grumpy, just in general, so today might be quite a ranty one, but who knows? We'll see. Wait, I've just realised I need to add something to this list because it's so awful. <laughs> I'll talk about this one first because I feel like it is the most relevant because it's probably the newest release on this list. It is the Morphe Manny MUA collab. The brushes look fine, nothing against the brushes, but the palette to me looks awful. And as someone that is getting into neutrals, I got a brown eye on today. This should kind of appeal to me because I'm starting to really love neutrals. It's also nothing against Manny. I don't watch him, but I don't not like him. I don't like him. I'm neutral, impartial. I just feel like this palette is super boring. It's a really good price. I will say that. It's not expensive, like for how much Morph you can charge for their collabs, but it is not a massive palette. It's not got that many shades. Four, 12 shades, two highlighters. So whilst I think the price is okay and I feel like th the price they're charging is right, I think the palette is so boring to look at. I literally want to snort. I think it was a waste of, I think it was a waste of packaging, materials, people, labor, hours, time. I think it's awful, personally. Who am I to judge though? And by the way, these are all opinions if you don't agree with me highly okay if you think the Manny MUA palette or anything that I'm going to talk about is the bee's knees. That is okay, you don't need to yell at me because I probably love stuff that you hate so let's all be calm. Actually this next one is super relevant as well, they're really new. I think they are all sold out. It's the three new Extreme Frost Highlighters by Jeffree Star. $50, okay $50. Look, 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 they are so expensive. I know they come in a vegan leather box and they are Jeffree Star, but $50, oh my goodness, that's A, too expensive, and B, I really honestly feel like the trend of coloured highlighters is so over. It was probably over in 2017 or 2018. Green, blue, and pink. The swatches though, if someone said to me, Melissa, that is a new liquid eye glitter, I would literally swoon and buy them all because they would be beautiful for that. But I feel like even as someone that loves extreme highlighters, they are just not my cup of tea, to put it very Britishly. Yeah, I just really feel like that trend is over. Also, I do have one of Jeffree Star's Extreme Frost highlighters. Is that what it's called? I feel like they had a new name. Yeah, I've got a Supreme Frost in Snow Globe. And whilst I like it, it is so glittery. It is very hard to use. I find that as soon as you put it on your face, like where you want to highlight, you just have glitter everywhere. and. Again, shh. I am not usually opposed to that. However, I don't want green and blue sparkles all over my face, even if I want it here. I probably wouldn't mind the pink one. And if I had to buy one, I would buy the pink, but I'm not gonna buy one. So I'm not gonna buy the pink. This next one is way cheaper, thankfully, but still something I'm obviously not going to buy and I hope they don't send them to me because they will be wasted. Well, I can just donate them, but they'll be wasted on me. It's the new Makeup Revolution, well, I Heart Revolution Bare Eyeshadow Palettes. Okay, I'm gonna admit, I kinda want the pink one just to put it on my like makeup shelf of cool makeup, but would I ever use it? No, even though the shades in there are quite pretty, I would still never use it because the packaging looks so ridiculous. It's so wasteful. I know it's like cutesy and things, but I just feel like that amount of plastic to hold that many eyeshadow shades is, it's kind of horrifying. I feel like you get 18 to 20 shades in them, which is quite a lot, 
But yeah, the packaging's really wasteful. The model, it's her whole hand is taken up holding just the bottom half. And I just can't justify that in my head. Like I can't be like, oh yeah, it's, it's fine when as a planet we are creating so much waste, especially plastic waste, which doesn't go away. It sits in landfill for like 500 years and I'm starting to get really passionate about it as like a cause. I just feel like Makeup Revolution as a brand, although they are my favourite drugstore brand, they must create the most enormous amount of plastic wastage and also like bad environmental toxins into the air, into the water. It's just, it kind of grosses me out, it really grosses me out. So yeah, I really don't like the berries for the packaging. The shades look all right in some of them, but but I think for most of us as adults, we'd be like, oh, it's a bit childish, so that's that. The next one is anything by House Labs. This Lady Gaga launch could have been insane and I think overwhelmingly it's been mostly negative in terms of like how people think about the brand and the products. I think the products are actually okay, like they perform okay. But my goodness, I would not, if, if it was completely unlabeled and I didn't know and then you showed me a picture of Lady Gaga, I would not join her up with this makeup brand and especially the new palette i was never going to talk about this before because i wasn't that interested but when they released a palette i was like okay they could really bring something to the game that's like really lady gaga really appeals to everyone is super super beautiful and i just think this palette is so boring so boring and you know that the swatches because every brand does it really build up their swatches to make them look as beautiful as possible so i don't even think that they look that good Another one is another singer turned uh, turned into makeup owner. It is uh, Kesha Rose Beauty. It's created by Hip Dot. I don't know if it is like her standalone brand or if she's just putting her name on Hip Dot branded or made makeup. Like I don't know the whole story, but anyway, the eyeshadow palette. I've got to be honest, you see if it was in square pants or like rectangle pants and in like a rectangle or square um, box, what was it called? Packaging? I would probably be more interested, but I hate, I hate palettes that are shaped weird. And although this isn't an excessive waste of packaging like the Makeup Revolution, I feel like circle palettes are just atrocious. In fact, I really, really, really love my, this is controversial, Kat Von D Fetish Blush and Highlight Palette. I hate the packaging. It looks terrible in my drawer of lovely rectangle blush and contour palettes, but I keep it because I love what's inside. I hate the packaging. I hate storing it. Um, so yeah, that's why I hate the palette so much. Ow! Again, I don't feel like the price is too bad, $36, but... I'm not sure what that translates to in pounds, like not the conversion, I can do the conversion, but quite often it would just then end up being 36 pounds, which is worse off for British people. Um, and then the red, li the red lipstick, sorry, um, wow, how innovative. I love red lipstick. I bought one the other day, so I don't know why I'm really complaining. The most reason I think I'm complaining is I hate the photo, like this photo. I find it quite disturbing and when I was looking through Trendmid's comments, which by the way, where I take all my photos from, I was like, why is no one mentioning this? Like, and I spent ages looking. I don't know, I just, I'm not usually one to jump in the bandwagon of, you know, when like a really artsy fartsy photo looks a little bit controversial. I'm not usually one that's like that. I'm like, well, it's art. But I feel like this one's just kind of, kind of weird. I don't really like it. And um, yeah, the red lipstick is really boring. Eh. This one is probably the most controversial for me because if you know me, you know that I support this creator so much. And to be honest, if I had so much disposable money or just a, a lot of disposable money that I could buy this just to support this creator, I would like say this month I had 10,000 pounds sitting in my bank account. I would buy this just to support her. But the Shan XO or XO Beauty Heaps of Sweets palette, I can't buy. And I wanted to buy it when she was teasing it, when she first spoke about it, like I wrote on Twitter, I cannot wait to buy this to support you because 
it's just one of those people like it's like how I'm a patron of three different people even though they all have really big channels and they do really really well it's because I want them to keep creating and I want to always see them have new content on my feed and I think maybe that's why some of you are my patrons as well so that's something I would buy it to support her and encourage her to keep making things but I just I am not interested by this palette at all and I feel like all the looks that she does with it and that I've seen her do with it are really plain and it is quite a plain palette but there is like pops of purple and copper I just don't like it and I'm gutted because I wanted to like it but yeah I'm, I'm gutted because to spot everyone not that she needs my money to sustain her lifestyle but just because I would have liked to support her in that way and um, I have bought some of her lashes in the past I've not tried her brushes though this one is just I'm gonna slip in here really quickly it's by a brand called all right hold on let me find the picture on Trendwood can you imagine being Trendwood and getting the amount of makeup that she gets like every day I would probably be really sick of makeup to be honest yeah so this is um pop sockets the brand is called pop sockets and it is a 15 dollar refill three dollar pop socket i've got a phone ring not a pop socket but i'm sure you know what they look like and you can see the picture on screen inside of it there was lip balm like tinted lip balm I am sure most of you are like me and when you go to the toilet for an extended toilet break you take your phone unless you've got poo books which my parents have but I don't have a shelf for poo books so I take my phone and you know you open up the toilet seat then you sit down you play on your phone and then you wipe your bum and then even if you wash your hands, can you imagine opening the flap on your phone, taking your dominant hand, wiping it in lip balm and smearing it on your lips? Even going on a bus and then doing it, opening any door in public, doing it, pulling out a chair in public, touching anyone's hand, doing anything, you would have to sanitize your hands with hand sanitizer before being able to use the lip balm. People don't, not everyone carries around hand sanitizer. I don't because I always lose it. I think it is one of the most gross concepts on the market. Most people agree with me on the trend mood comments. Well, it's unsanitary. Neat idea, but like communism only probably only works on paper. This post made me spray my phone to disinfect it. Like, yeah, it's, I just think, Golly, that's disgusting. And I'm someone that's quite gross. Like I'll pick up horse poo with my hands. Would not use this. This next one I know a lot of you are gonna be really mad at me about because people have been mad about this in the past. This is by Peachy Queen, Shop Peachy Queen, and it is the Friends TV show um, eyeshadow palette. I don't, it's not Friends licensed because it doesn't say that on it. It's called I'll Be There For You. I know what that means. I've never watched Friends ever in my life. Like I've caught snippets of it here and there, but I've never watched a full episode. I wasn't allowed to as a child or growing up. Um, just like we weren't really allowed to listen to Radio 1, things like that, very strict Christian parents, which is fine. So I feel like now I've missed the Friends boat. To me, it's really unfunny. I don't like studio generated laughter. I think it hides the fact that most of Friends isn't funny and I know I'm offending most of you right now and it's okay if you want to take out your frustration on me but I think Friends is poo and so I think this palette is crap. Even though I think the, the colours are kind of nice, I feel like just with another palette I'm going to talk about as well as for another reason. We are very tired of rainbow palettes. Most of us who wear brights and fun colours are color fatigued. I think that's how Beauty News described it. It's like rainbow fatigue. There's too many out there and all of us have at least one, if not a few to be honest. I feel like for the next while, brands should really steer clear of rainbow palettes because most of us have them. This one is the same as the Friends one in my opinion, just with the kind of rainbow fatigue. Fatigue? Why did I say it like that? I don't know. 
Anyway, it's a Unicorn Cosmetics Totemic, Totemic, Totemic palette. I don't know what that means. It's got 10 shades in it. Brights, 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 one brown. I really like the look on this model with the pink lips, but A, bright fatigue, and B, the packaging disgusts me. Not the, not the drawing on the front, I think that's really, really cute, but the, the packaging shape is super annoying and gross. It's not gross, but it's really annoying. It'd be a pain in the bum to store. This is the last thing I'm gonna talk about, and this is kind of, I'm putting it in last because it's kind of, I really don't want it, but at the same time, I kind of really want it. It's the La Roque Artistry book. It's got 48 shades in it, and it's 39.99. So whilst I've been moaning that I have rainbow fatigue, I feel like this palette is, it looks really similar to my Beauty Bay Mitchell palette, just with a lot more options. And if you know me or watch my favorites, the Mitchell palette was my favorite one of the year. This is, it's got all the neutrals and the deep tones, but it's also got the brights and it's got some really fun looking shimmers, kind of like the Huda Nunit shimmers. The reason I want it is because A, it's similar to my Mitchell, B, there's so many options, and C, it just looks like a lot of fun. But the reason I don't want it is because it's £40 and yes, you get almost 50 shades in it, however, I don't know if any of you are like me and when you first kind of started playing with makeup you went on eBay or Amazon and you bought La Roque branded like cream contour kits and things like that. They were like £3.50. I'll try and have a picture up on screen to show you what I mean and maybe it'll jog some of your memories although I'm sure some of you will remember. Like to me this is one of those really cheap, cheap Chinese, not like Chinese makeup is bad. It can be very 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 good a lot of it is but it's one of those like white label very very cheap Not great quality makeup brands and it's like when I was Yeah, just kind of starting to dabble and wanting to learn more and play more with makeup I bought quite a lot of La Roque off like I said eBay and Amazon It was very 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 cheap and you could just play around and learn how to use like cream contour kits and things like that so it kind of offends me that they're selling something for £40 because that is the opposite of what I know this brand for but at the same time I really want to try it so I can see if it's worth £40. So it's kind of an anti haul and kind of a want but not really like a oh I must have that in my collection more like a curiosity as towards it if you know what I mean. Well I don't think I ranted that much I think I kept it pretty civil. So yeah, that is my anti-haul. There's probably new things added to the list. I actually compiled this like two weeks ago um, and now I'm only talking about it. So yeah, there's probably new things to add to the list, but I feel like I've covered most things. I'm gonna do like a what I really want um, because there's a lot of new stuff that's come out that I really, really want to buy and try. Um, and then there's some older stuff that I've been wanting for like five years and still haven't bought so I'll do that as like another video um, So yeah, let me know down in the comments What you're anti-hauling Because there's a lot of really bad makeup out there and we should talk about it So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. Leave me a comment down below. I'm gonna start Trying to reply to all my comments again um, like this video if you did enjoy it and please subscribe for more rude from me. A massive thank you to my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. It baffles me and you know, I'm sure most of you know how important the support is to me right now. It is literally um, a lifeline in the, at this point in my life. And so I really appreciate it probably now more than ever to be quite honest with you. Um, and if you do want to become a patron, I now do lives for patrons. The link is in the description box and it's from $1 a month and you can see me blundering around on a live. And if you can't or don't want to become a patron, think nothing of it. Just keep watching my videos, it is a bigger support than you know. And on that note, I'm going to piss off. I filmed two videos today. I'm very proud of myself considering I haven't gone out of bed. Um, well, I got out of bed on Saturday to film briefly, but I haven't gotten out of bed apart from that in two weeks so yay me and yeah I'm gonna piss off I'll catch you on the flip side
Hasta luego.